good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got redmi note 11 and uh, you may know that uh, the redmi note 11 will not get hyper os 2 version well right now my mobile phone is updated to the old version of the miui 14.0.5 and uh, today but the android version is 13 and today i'm going to flash the ported hyper os 2 point something it is 2.0 and uh, this is a port ported rom for the spes code name redmi note 11 before going ahead if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet just press the subscribe button thank you so much so it doesn't matter if the mobile phone is on miui or hyper os the important thing is to have an unlock bootloader of the mobile phone and then we can flash the custom recovery or custom rom and second thing is to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged and you need to save all the internal storage data because the data will get formatted turn off the screen lock to avoid issues in case if you are having miui or hyper os and if you have logged in your xiaomi account sync your xiaomi account and then must remove it to avoid issues same way sync your google account once and then must remove it to avoid issues well we are, if you have done all these things simply power off the mobile phone these are the files that requires for the flashing links are all provided in my video description just make a new folder and click the links download these files this is the hyper os 2.0 uh, ported from the china base rom and for the redmi note 11 the operating version is uh, like mentioned here 2.1 and we will get android 15 yes we need platform tools and uh, custom recovery so first of all extract the platform tools then copy the image file of the recovery and open the extracted folder of the platform tools paste the file in this folder then rename the twrp file select the file press f2 just give a name r e c o v e r y press enter key then right click on cmd and left click on the run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window command window will open mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off we need to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode and your mobile phone must have an unlock boot load you need to check the data cable the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer press and hold the volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see fast boot screen release the far down the volume down key when this screen appears phone is connected with the computer booted already in fast boot mode on the computer screen on the command window we have to flash the recovery for that type the command fast boot space flash space boot space recovery dot img press enter key okay done now reboot type the command fast boot space reboot and press enter key as soon you press the enter key then press and hold the volume up key before me logo for a few seconds and you can release the key now the phone will show the recovery screen very soon command window work done close the command window we'll go back to my downloaded folder as soon the recovery screen appears the uh, the internal storages will also get appears on the computer screen if i double click the internal storage to check the storage is decrypted or encrypted no i can read the folder's name so it means that the storage is decrypted we can copy paste i will go back to my downloaded folder and i will copy the rom file from there and we'll go back to my internal storage of my mobile phone when we'll paste the file when the rom file gets copied on the internal storage of the mobile phone so we are done from the computer disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone and uh, unlock the screen of the custom recovery then tap install scroll down select the file that i just copied by tapping on it and then uh, put a tick sign here automatically reflash twrp after flashing the rom this one right and then swipe to start flashing the flashing will take a time so now we have to wait 
flushing got completed doesn't matter if you can see these red lines we'll go back to the main screen of the recovery then tap y and format data type y e s then tap here yes do this step otherwise the rom will not get boot when done then tap reboot system after staying on the logo for a while the mobile phone will start booting finally to the rom you can see xiaomi hyper os the first boot will take a little time finally first boot completed i will complete the setup screen beautiful wallpaper and beautiful icons hyper os 2.0 on redmi note 11 we'll go to settings this is the settings interface with the hyper os 2.0 we'll tap the my device and you can read xiaomi hyper os 2.0.104 ported from the china base rom and the developer name and the good thing is that uh, the redmi note 11 is finally updated from android 13 to android 15 from hyper os 1 point something to hyper os 2.0 something well i cannot see the play store over here chrome is already installed which means that the play store support is we're coming with this rom but we have to do one more thing that is tap settings then go to additional settings then go to accounts and sync and uh, basic google services tap on it then turn on the basic google services okay turn and come back now we have to install play store manually by downloading from the internet we have to search play store apk on google downloading the play store apk manually and then installing it manually with the help of uh, files or uh, files ma file manager so we will get the play store on this rom but the gaps or google applications support already there with the rom let me talk about the camera the hyper os camera application provided with the rom the portrait mode is not working with the camera 108 megapixel picture or 108 megapixel mode is working i will check the portrait mode of the front camera mm. yes the portrait mode with the front camera is working but the portrait mode with the rear camera is actually not working well uh, those who are flashaholic who are looking for a new rom this is the new rom for the redmi note 11 if you want you can give a try thank you so much for watching the video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye